Welcome everybody back. This is Home Harbor. Today's video is about the lifeboat. So guys, as I told you, I ordered them. Uh, they are from Beagle, HMS Beagle. They go into flags like this. We go into cut the pieces. This is first time I'm doing the lifeboat because my Candelaria had one simple one from the metal. I wanted to have a wooden. So uh, this is the plan I download from the ochre side and we will try to, we will not try, we're going to do the lifeboat. So we're going to go with a small one. So uh, what I need to do is to cut, I have here already the pieces, the numbers, they are very, very small. So I will not bore you with all of this stuff. I will just cut all of the pieces that I need. Then you at home, if you will order from Beagle, you can see in the instructions all the numbers and you will just cut just like me. So I will cut all of the pieces that we need from this one, from the first one, from this one. Is this the small one? And here are the pieces from him. So. I will cut them and then we will continue. So guys, I did cut all of them. It does look pretty interesting. I'm trying to put it to focus. Be careful because it is not gently, but still the small pieces. I sent the edges on all of the ribs as well. So now we can glue it together and put it on the base just like it is here in instruction so we do the base we glue all together and then we glue into the base right so let's start with gluing it It's very interesting when you do something new because I never done the lifeboat before. So it's kind of interesting. <laughs> it does look pretty cool. Good guys, now in the front. Well, good. So guys, this part is done, let's just glue it. And I will just clamp it for a few seconds, like this, and leave it to dry for a few seconds, and then we'll show you how it come up so guys this is how it come up so we have here a flat flat platform we can flip it over and working with it. now how i understand we need to do like we do the ship so we're going to send it down the ribs so we're going to have a smooth hole and then we're going to start the planking i will see with what planks we're going to do this but it looks well, pretty nice. I like it. 
it look awesome so guys the next step is send send it down and make it nice and smooth all right so guys the next step that i will do is send it down i'm going to use a nail file how we need to send it down just like we did with our ship we will start from uh, the bow and then go to the stern You don't need to send it down all the way to the top because if you can see we have here some cuts those cuts are our point where we're going to cut it so the first plank will go where the cuts are so in this we have like measurements right we need to send it down then the first plank will go below those cuts and the way this is the way how we do the planking of the lifeboat but the process is just like the ship we need to do it smooth this part right here i didn't finish and then the planking now guys from the back it all must be smooth in the original uh, kit, when you have those uh, lifeboats, you have planks uh, one by three. I don't have this wood, so we will use the wood that we have. We're going to improvise, so I will use 0 0.6 by three. Those planks that we have from our uh, deck planking, those wood strips, I'm going to cut them. They are 5 mil, I'm going to cut them 3 mil, and this is what I will use for the planking of the lifeboat. I think it will work. So guys, if it will be not enough, I can do the second layer. But if you want to use 1 by 3 when you will contact Okra to buy this lifeboat, also can speak about the planks but i will improvise i like to do stuff like this so guys if you can see in the front i'm done it is smooth it took almost four ribs then now i will start with the back i start a little bit now i will do some more and then i will finish and show you the result how it come up don't be afraid guys, never be afraid. If you will send this part right here, that base, don't worry, we don't need that base. But this one, this part in the back, this one right here, should be sent because we're going to glue the planks to it. So guys, do it smooth. Well, I think this part is done. So guys, I will do, you really do understand how it works, it will be to the bow smooth and to the stern smooth so we can have a nice planking, right? So I'm going to do this part right here and then I will come back to you. So guys, I did both sides, I think they're pretty even. Now what I will do, I want my ribs from the inside because they will be visible these parts right here from inside I want to stain them with my oak stain that I usually do I will not paint nothing black because uh, from the inside we have that dark um, it's like a burning wood from the laser so I'm just going to stain in the top of it so let's get start with the staining if you don't want to stain it's not a problem it's just my choice
so good guys it's all stained so i can leave it to dry for a few moments right now it looks like this and meanwhile i will prepare until it dries i will prepare my planks i don't really think that i should film it because it's just a waste of time i take the plank or this one or if you have leftovers from sapoli or you have a walnut strips i will just take them cut them by three mil they are five the length that we need and then we can start planking our beautiful lifeboat so guys i will prepare the planks and i will come back to you so guys i did prepare the wood strips i found in home some walnut strips so i will use them because i want from inside my lifeboat be dark but if you don't have any wood strips if you don't have leftovers from polaris you can just use the lime wood i think it's nothing wrong with that i just happen to have it home so i will use it but if it will be not enough i mean this is 0.6 millimeters in the instructions is one millimeter so if if it will be not enough i will give two layers so we will have that two millimeters that we need we will have 2.2 but okay so how i'm going to do this we have here those cuts we must go by the cuts it's going to be our first plank so i take the toothpick glue and i will start from the middle and like this i will wait some time until it completely dries it is not hard guys it's just well like this for now i'm just waiting here until it grabs now guys this part is glued i glue it to the end right until here then i cut it sand it a little bit now we can go to the bow right okay like this like <clears throat> sorry like, like this guys and now we wait until it grabs again when it dry i will come back to you and like this we go plank by plank i will show you one side how i close it and then we will see if we need the second layer so guys the first plank is in the position let's continue now we will go with the plank here below i think so right so let's go now is again i put in one two three four five six ribs glue now i wait until it dries and then i will finish at the stern and at the bow so guys right here it glued so now let's do the stern part the stern part i will use a clamp because it need to be right here
okay now this part is secure I will wait until it dries trying to show it focus I will wait until it dries this part now let's go to the bow So guys, the second one is in the position and I think the third one we also go from the bottom. So let's start. to the end now let's wait it's not that easy I thought it would be easier but okay we will do this anyway so guys this is how it goes with the second plank I already cut it in the bow now let's go and glue the stern Now I put here a clamp and we will wait. And now we wait until it dries. So I give one at the top, two below. And then we'll give a little bit of sanding and it will be perfect. Maybe even one layer will be good enough we will see okay guys i will leave it to dry a little bit and then we will continue so guys i did three of them two in the bottom one in the top now again let's go at the bottom so let's start Now let's wait until it dries. Now let's go to the front, to the bow. So guys, in the front, I did like this. Now we can move to the stern. The stern part will go like this, just like in the ship. It goes like this. So we left with this small part right here. We're going to cut a piece and glue it inside. So let's finish with this plank. So guys, I glue it, I sand it, I cut small piece, put it inside. If you have some gaps, do you remember how we did our first plank? We put just a little bit of the, for example, we have here a very small gap I put here just a little bit of the white glue wipe it out and now let's send it a little bit and the gap is gone now let's do the next one. Next one we going to cut. So we need to put her the stand one. We're going to need to put her like her like this. We need to cut in the front. 
and then cut in the back okay so let me prepare the strip because it's not comfortable to filming and also make sure that it's focusing let me pre-cut them and I will come back to you so guys I did pre-cut part that I need now let's glue her right down in the bow let's go back to the stern now we wait until it dries and we will put the last piece guys I did cut it now let's glue Hiding from you nothing, I have some gaps as I'm doing this for the first time. Next time I know what I should do, how I should do, but the gaps are not that crucial. So I just need more sanding, but the first part is done. So guys, next what I'm going to do. I will sand it down, I will do this part right here and then I will come back to you when going to cut it from our base. So I do this part and I will come back to you. So I did close the hole both sides, also behind I closed all of it. Now, before separate it from the base, I will do that old look that we was doing on our hole. I'm going to do it right now before gluing the keel. So let's start. Now let's start with ascending. I want to our hull of the ship match with the hull of the lifeboat. Oh guys, I think it's enough. Now let's apply the stain. Again, walnut stain. I don't know why. I few times I think in this video. I told you oak stain, I don't use oak stain in this build, only the walnut. So if you will hear the oak stain, you will understand it's my mistake. So good guys, right now it's very dark, now we will wait a little bit until it dries and when it will dry I will separate it from the base and we can continue. So let's give it a moment to dry. So guys, it is dry. Uh, it's ready to be cut from the base. What I will show you, what I will explain you. I cut all of the pieces. I prepare already all of the pieces. I didn't film it because it is the same uh, as I did all of the ship. I paint it black, I sand it down, I stain it with the walnut, uh, I prepared the seeds, and now we the floor, and now we can work and we can finish our uh, lifeboat. So guys, this part right here I will not film because it will take a lot of time because you will you need to be very careful when you cut it in the instructions. You must to cut when are those cuts, laser cuts. But I will cut from the top. I will just take off the base. And then those parts, I will uh, send them down. I will send them down with the file. Because if I will cut like this, I'm afraid to damage 
the planking. So guys, I will cut this part. I will send it down and then I will come back to you and we're going to finish all of the lifeboat. So guys, let's continue. I did cut it. I did send it down. Sorry, but I already glued this part right here. It comes. For you, it will be easier, much easier for those who don't have a kit from Beagle and order uh, the lifeboat like me. I glue L63. So in this plate, wooden plate, you will find L63, this one part right here. You just glue it, it enters uh, here where are the ribs and also right here we have like pre-cut part it enters there so guys I didn't have the, they all use uh, in this lifeboat they have with the kit one mil wood I don't have uh, so I'm doing with the material that I have okay so we pre-cut this one um, it's already pre-cut we glue it now what I will do I will do the floor as again I will do differently they go three pieces they give three pieces by 40 centimeters I will give one on the full length let's glue it I will show you So guys, the first one on the floor, like the floor, I give full length, right? So the next one is going to be right here. I made it like they say, four centimeters, and I will going to give it like this. I will start from from this rib right here this one rib and then I will glue it so I will glue it and you will see it better so guys this how I made the floor so guys our next part is going to be the seats there are three of them we will place them before we place the top part I did them from our first planking uh, wood I cut them two by three and now let's just glue them it is much more easier to glue them right now before we place the top part so guys now we wait until they dries our seeds and then we can glue the top the top part right so just few seconds it will dry and we will finish with the top part so guys it's dry now let's glue our top part Now guys, let's do very lot of pressure in all of the surface of the top part so it will be glued very nice and perfect. So I will be like this for a few minutes or a few seconds. It's super glue but it's gel so it will take a time and then I will come back to you with the result. So guys, I've done it. Now the next move is our Heel. so let's glue it as again let's wait until it dries but I must say I'm happy with the result I like it a lot now let's wait a few seconds 
So guys, now let's glue the last part of the false kill. Let's again, let's wait. So guys, this part is done. I did stain a little bit more. So now let's glue the rudder. To make sure it's in the right position, I suggest you to put the, this part as well. So we can see if it's in the right position. Like this. So guys, I will change the camera. There is one more thing. When you're going to do, when you're going to prepare all those parts, I suggest you to uh, download all of the numbers you have all the numbers and all of the sizes that you need but as I told you this is not from kit so do some experiments I did like this I like it there is one more thing those parts right here wooden parts I don't like I will finish uh, my lifeboat a little bit differently and I will show you how just when it's going to be all dry so we will continue and I will show you how I will do it and now guys it is done almost what is left is support for oars uh, in the plan right here they are from the wood I don't like it like this they are made from the wood so I came up with one solution you can go like this you can go with the wood I take our, our eyeballs and I cut pieces of them like this so now I will do the holes and I will put them inside and this way I will finish my lifeboat so guys I will do the rest of it and I will change the camera and we will take the look what we have accomplished so guys, this was episode about the lifeboat. I'm pretty happy with the result. I did I do like the way it looks. It's not focusing. Why not? Like this folks. I'm really happy with the result. I hope you like it. Now, the next step, there is two things that we can do, or we will place it in our uh, gratings, like this. It also look very nice. Or we're going to do, like we speak, behind. We will do the rails, and then we will put our lifeboat like this I will think about this it's going to be the next episode so guys thank you very much for watching I'm sorry it's not focusing good enough but it looks like this I like it I'm happy so thank you very much and see you next time guys